My last story before we begin. So, this story is about Pamela Miles. I don't know her, but I read about the story in a, in a book that I do re re rely on. She claims to detect human energy fields and can manipulate them to heal the sick. Therapeutic touch is also called Reiki. You heard of that? Come across that? Possibly heard about it somewhere? Read it in a U magazine or something like that? <laughs> All right, so Reiki. It's a spiritual practice developed in 1922 by Japanese Buddhist Mikao Usui. It uses a technique co commonly called palm healing. Palm healing or hands-on healing. It's an alternative medicine. Practitioners believe they are transferring universal energy or Reiki in the form of ki through the palms, which they believe allows self-healing. What am I talking about this for? Well, those are the chakras, the energy points. And the question is, does it work? And this lady in 1998, Emily Rosa, asked that question. Does it work? So she designed an experiment using a single blind <coughs> protocol. She recruited 21 therapeutic touch practitioners. Uh, she's, they, they sat behind a screen with two holes in it, and the practitioners could not see her, and she could not see them. The practic practitioners stuck their hands through the holes. Based on a coin toss, she placed her hand either over the left or the right hands of the practitioners. Now, if they knew, uh, uh, I mean, if therapeutic touch worked, they would know which hand she had her hand over. Fourteen <coughs> practitioners were tested ten times each, and seven were tested twenty times each. So she had uh, statistical significance in her exp experiment. Hi, come inside. You'll have to take whatever chair you can find. So, discussion. If the practitioners could detect energy of the body, they would be close to 100% correct. But if they couldn't, they would be close to 50% correct. Because either it's yes or no, hey? right or wrong. So 50% if they were just guessing. Well, she did the experiments and the results came out 44%. So what does that signify? Her conclusion, she wrote, Emily wrote in a peer-reviewed paper, the failure to substantiate therapeutic touches most fundamental claim is unrefuted evidence that their beliefs are groundless and that further professional use is unjustified. That's what she wrote. I looked up the paper, uh, Emily Rosa, E. Rosa, uh, and those other authors wrote it. And when I checked in 2nd of August 2014, it had been cited 112 times. So that's a lot, and I must update that. Uh, that was her paper. When was that um, I don't have a date, but it was 1998. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, the initial impact was limited at first. Um, why? Because she was not a medical doctor. She never graduated from medical school. She never graduated from college. She never graduated from high school. She hadn't even graduated from elementary school, primary school. She asked her mother, a nurse, to help her write the paper. You saw there were two roses on the paper. Her experiment was part of a fourth grade science fair project at Fort Collins, Colorado. Okay. Emily was 11 years old when she asked that question and did that experiment. 11 years old. That's what she looked like. So her teacher's reactions were, it's not a big deal in my classroom, said Emily. I showed it to a few of my teachers, but they really didn't care, which kind of hurt my feelings. Some of the teachers were getting therapeutic touch, uh, touch uh, during noon hour, lunchtime. They did not recommend it to the district science fair. It just wasn't well received at the school, said Linda, Emily's mom. But the press got hold of it. And she appear, it, it appeared on ABC, CBS, etc., 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 BBC, all of these things. Those people that are really experienced and published a lot, did you ever battle with confidence? So, I don't know if you've experienced, anybody want to share something? Maybe that's too difficult a question, but you need to face this with confidence. Because you're in the 
territory of the unknown. Nobody knows what you know your research has revealed. Please.